Hi, so what is ancestral healing all about and how can you heal your ancestral lineage? In this video, I'm going to explain everything. I'll talk about ancestral healing. I'll explain about what it is, how to work with your angels and guides so you can heal your ancestral lineage. And I'll fill you in on exactly how to do that. So I remember the first time that this came up for me. It wasn't something that I was doing actively, but it came into my awareness that this was something that I... Not that I needed to do, but that it was coming up that this would be beneficial. And it was a few years ago and I did it myself and it was so powerful. I had to share it with, it was just for me personally at the time, but I remember thinking I have to share this. So I shared it with my members group and the feedback was just amazing for those who did it. So when I first did this process myself, as I said, it was purely on a personal level. I wasn't planning on doing this with anybody else I was really surprised at how palpable the shift was it was you know it was like somebody literally had taken a heavy weight off my body you know that feeling when you've been carrying around like a heavy backpack or something that you've been wearing all day and the relief that you feel when you take it off when you finally put it down it was that type of release and it was instant. It was like literally somebody came and lifted a heavy weight off my back. Um, so how do you do this? What is ancestral healing? So let me explain a little bit. Let's back up a little bit first of all and explain what ancestral healing is. So it's healing the lineage of you and your ancestors. It's the um, energetic lines between those who have gone before you and it's breaking the patterns, the cycles, the suffering that has been repeating over and over and that may be playing out in your life but you don't realize that it's playing out or that it seems as if there's something going on that you have no control over and just the same thing keeps happening and it's just this energy that's playing out and what I found was that we're now being called to end the cycle, to break the pattern, to end the suffering. So this may play out for you in the form of it could be like a health issue. It could be financial. It could be even emotional. There's so many ways this can play out. So and for most of us, we're not even aware that it's happening. It's not conscious. It's something that's lying hidden beneath the surface. And yeah, it's just deciding that this stops now, that it's not going to play out anymore, that there's not going to be any more fear or destructive behavior or patterns or sabotage or whatever it is. You're drawing the line, you're saying no more, and you're allowing yourself to break free from it. These patterns have been playing out for long enough. So it's not to say that your ancestors or those who've gone before you it's not to say that their choices were bad or wrong. It's acknowledging that they did their best. It's acknowledging that we are not bound by their choices, the choices that they made out of fear or whatever it was that caused them to make those decisions, that we no longer have to be bound by those choices, that we can choose something different, that we have this power to choose. And we also are being called to assist in this role of breaking the cycle to stop the patterns playing out. So honoring what's happened, honoring the suffering, honoring the choices, honoring the ways of being that went before us and knowing that they did their best, knowing that at the time that was probably the best choice that they could have made, but acknowledging that it doesn't have to continue and that the choices made out of fear, as I said, they don't have to keep repeating over generation after generation, that we do have a choice in the matter. So even though we may not know what these choices were, we don't need to know. We don't need to know the specifics. We don't need to go into the details. All we need to do is make a decision to release the energy, the foundations of it. So from a visual point of view, 
if you can imagine if you're in a building and there's like a multi-story building and you're on the ground floor and maybe there's a circuit or something that's gone wrong on what the other floors and it's causing the lights to flicker or it's causing something to happen and from your level you don't know what's going on you can't see what's happening on the other levels above or below you um, wherever you are in the, the building so it's literally it's like going in and just flicking a switch and every level um gets healed all the uh, any glitches energy glitches that are in the system so to speak and um, they get healed from one level it has a ripple effect that affects all levels of the building so if you have a circuit that's affecting the lights where they're flickering and you fix that circuit then the lights are going to work throughout the building um so i know it's it's simplified uh, explanation but just to give you a picture of what it's like so this is really important because when we are unconsciously repeating patterns, when we're not fully in our power, it may seem as if some outside force is at work. It may seem like that, you know, the universe is against us or there's just something that is sabotaging our success or, you know, something going on, but we don't, don't quite know what it is. So it's time to take back your power and to flick that switch, so to speak, and to get the lights working, to get the power running throughout um, the building. So why are we doing this now? Why are we doing this work now? Um, simply, we have the energy available to us. We have the frequency available to us now with the new earth, with the ascension process. And I'm not going to go into that in detail now, but we're ascending to higher levels of frequency, higher levels of being. And if we're anchored in our past, we can't ascend to the frequency that we need to. We can't rise up. So if we're being held by back, back by these ancestral ties, we can't rise up to the frequency that we are being called to be at. Um, so this really this benefits everyone, anyone who's called to do this work, it will have some benefit in your life. And there's a ripple effect where it filters back through the generations, but it also filters forward so that you're healing not just your past, but you're healing your future and future generations to come. So what happens after you do ancestral healing? So for a lot of people, you may notice subtle differences in your energy, your life. For others, there will be big shifts. It will be a huge impact. Like I said, it felt like that big backpack was being taken off my back. It was like this instant, like upgraded energy. Um, and yeah, the ripple effects, as I said, are going to continue in both directions and well in all directions um, from our ancestors to our descendants and also within our own lives it'll filter to our family members and um, to those who are still alive now um, and it'll affect them as well so it has so far-reaching effects it's really important work so during the meditation to heal your ancestral lineage I'll walk you through the steps to work with your angels and guides to heal ancestral karma, to break the ties, the cycles, the patterns that have been playing out on the maternal and the paternal lines, so the mother um, and the father lines. And because of the unique way I work with the angels to activate this healing, it's extremely powerful. You are going to notice this as I said, it'll be subtle in some cases, um, but there'll be big shifts for others. So during the meditation, you will connect with Archangel Michael to cut negative ties. You will work with Archangel Zadkiel to transmute heavy energy. Um, you'll invoke Shekinah, I'll talk you through all of this, to activate unity consciousness. Um, you'll call on Metatron for multidimensional healing and we'll work with some other angels and guys that are coming up during the process. Um, so those of you who have experienced these sessions with me before, you know how powerful this work is and how much you can benefit from this energy work. 
So if this is calling to you, if you want to join in, I'll leave a link below in the show notes and the pinned comment, and you can access the guided meditation to heal your ancestral lineage. And I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.